Previously on Star Trucker. Oh, golly. Gosh darn asteroids. Repair hole. Oh my goodness. For zero dollars. Oh, look how shiny our truck is. I forgot what it looked like. Okay. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh gracious. Hang on a minute. Just hang on a minute. Yeah, so far this game is just a blast. It's oh hey. Uh hey. Hey. We need to find somewhere we can get air filters. <laughs> um, cause yeah, we're running a little low on the lung juice. So I'm gonna book it over here and see if Starbreak Supplies <laughs> has some for us. Cause that would be nice. Yeah, I know, everything's terrible. <laughs> we're trying, okay? We're trying so hard. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be just fine. We're gonna buy some air filters and hopefully that'll fix our problem. What is this, a micro stabilizer? Hopefully I don't need one of those because those are very expensive. <laughs> Good gracious. Ooh, a pack of soda. <laughs> I still don't know what these do for us, but I'm gonna buy it because <laughs> I want it. Stim packs. Uh, do I need those? Im, Im, do I need... I, don't, I feel like a lot of this stuff is stuff that I'm gonna... <laughs> Orange juice. A big old jug of orange juice. It's 81 bucks for orange juice. Good gracious. That's really expensive orange juice. Um, I can't help but notice. <laughs> they don't they don't have any. Um they have meal packs. Is, is should I, am I supposed to be eating stuff and things? What am I? <laughs> this, a lot of this stuff, a workwear carton. Should I be changing my clothes and stuff? Am I not taking good care of my guy? This is like I should be. <laughs> What's going on here? But I'm also not seeing um, an air filter of any kind. So while we're docked up here, let me see if I can figure out our situation. See, this one's fine. So what's causing the problem? This thing's about to go. So maybe... Oh, trip systems. It looks like your cab circuit breaker has been tripped. This is likely the result of an EMP or the incorrect removal of a UCC while a system was still active. Oops. <laughs> trip systems will stay offline until they are manually reset at the circuit breaker. Okay. Oh. Oh. I've made a terrible mistake. I have made such a terrible mistake that I don't even who <laughs> don't even know what to do about oh my gosh about my oh no oh wait hang on a minute hold on i what i <laughs> i i think Your truck <laughs> ran out of oxygen and you almost died from asphyxiation, but we didn't. We almost died. Thankfully, recovery services made a successful rescue and transported you to Atlas Prime Auto Essentials. Your truck warranty currently covers recovery and repairs. This will expire in four miles. However, an excess may have been charged for some items. Please see below for an itemized bill. They charged me $750, but we didn't die. At least we didn't die. Um... Okay, so don't do that. Don't pull those out when you're not supposed to. That's what I learned today. Um, so do we have a good one of those? I feel like I just bought one. This one's not super great, but I think the one that I bought wasn't doing super great um, because it was rattling around in the airlock. Okay. We're, we're learning. How is our oxygen now? Is it still terrible? Are we still, is everything? We're still losing oxygen. What do we do about that? At least it refilled. <laughs> um, 
the recovery service might have might have gave us some some oxygen well did they transport us to a different place or are we still at the same one <gasps> these guys have air filters okay gosh they're so expensive i cannot believe how expensive these are that is really cruel <laughs> how expensive those are okay but we've got them so if i put this in here is that gonna solve our problem is that does that make everything better on this one we're just gonna we're gonna pack that in there close that i need to stash all my stuff it's been it's been a mess ever since we had the accident all right let's see let's see if everything's better i think i think we fixed it i don't know where these other two uh I need to figure out where those are, where those filters are. Are they just on the other side and I'm not paying attention? I think they are. I thought I tried to open these. Oh, yep, they're over here. Okay, that's why. Okay. All right, we need to do some more jobs uh, so we can get some more money and afford some more air filters. Let's go see if there's any jobs that need to be going to uh, Tank Town. And then we can, we can kill two birds with one stone, as they say um because we need to go see sour candy and maybe she's got some real good wisdom for us um as far as what we can do about surviving out here because boy it's rough <laughs> it's real rough oh my goodness we need to slow it down <laughs> we need to slow it down oh my gosh we came in way too hot it's okay everything's fine we're good no problems. I I would imagine running into the space station is a terrible, terrible, terrible thing. And nobody wants to go to Tank Town. Okay, let me look at the map. See if I can figure out exactly where Tank Town is at. Maybe we can make a compromise. We can go straight to Three Kings, but we can't get to Tank Town from Three Kings. We'd have to come all the way back to Atlas Prime. We're going to have to go to Purity Emerald Junction then to junk fields in order to get to tank town so we could go to junk fields emerald junction or purity uh let's do this one because that's going from atlas prime which is where we are to emerald junction which we're gonna have to go to anyway right am i tripping no i'm not tripping that's right <laughs> okay so let's do that one we're gonna go from atlas prime to emerald junction and then from there, we'll continue on and we'll go see Sour Candy and see what she's got to say. It's a good plan. What's, what's going on here? Is this one? Oh my gosh. Good gracious. So many dead batteries. I really hope I can charge these. I hope, I hope there's a way because I can't afford to keep buying batteries. I tell you what. <laughs> they just die so fast. All right, let's do this thing. I'm going to go pick up my cargo and we're going to make this happen. It's going to be great automated warranty alert your mileage threshold has been reached and your warranty has now expired you are no longer eligible for free recovery and repairs can i can i update my warranty that was kind of nice diego's painting ride boy that sounds really fun if i had extra money that i wasn't saving up for a new air filter for uh i would probably check that out but as it stands, we don't have money to be spending on painting. I do want to paint my truck, though. That sounds really fun. Okay, we're going to zip on over here. Pick up my cargo. And, uh... Chris, you bring your truck in for a weight check? What do you mean? Head to the waypoint and then stop at the marked bay. Uh, I, I don't even have a load. <laughs> I don't got nothing. What are you weighing? I don't have any beer on me. I don't have a load. Okay. All right. Now, I suppose you insist. All right. Now, bring your truck to a stop so the scan can start. Right. Sit tight while we run the scan. Shouldn't take too long. Okay. Thank you for your patience. Everything looks A OK, -okay my side, so you're clear to go. I'm happy to hear that, buddy. I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. I'm going to be about my day. I got places to be, air filters to buy, so I don't die. You know how it is. I have a little red light. What's that about? More more batteries dying? 
More batteries seem to be dying. Good golly. Just can't win. All right. Well, we better make this delivery so we can afford to buy them. <laughs> there we go. Okay, truck status. Oh yeah, my hole's broken. <laughs> kind of forgot about that. And my suit charger has a malfunction. Okay. Uh, it seems like we're doing great. <laughs> Try not to run into stuff. I don't really see a good way to get up there with like a highway or nothing. So we're just going to dodge all the space crap. <laughs> oh, no. Gosh, darn it. I didn't see that one. I didn't. I didn't see that one. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Suit's almost dead. Because <laughs> it hasn't been charging. So we're going to make this quick. We're going to make this real quick like. Which is unfortunate because we've got three hole breaches. Boy. Just get this repaired real quick. Real quick now. We get turned around. Grab this one. I think we're gonna make it. <laughs> I think we're gonna be fine. Oh boy. Oh no. Real quick, like. Just real quick, like. Oh boy. That's dying real fast. Ready to get back to my airlock. Oh, gracious. Let me back in. Let me back in. Okay. What's broken in here? It's the, yeah, it's the thing, which we don't want to remove that right now. I don't think we even have one. Is this one? Nope, that one's dead. Oh. Might have one in there. Oh, that one's good. I have a good one. Hang on. Park that right there. I just broke it a little bit. That's okay. And then put this in here. And then I need to turn off the suit charger. And then we can replace this thing without tripping the whole truck. And dying. Okay, I need to quit dropping that. Cause that's that's bad for it. Okay, stick that in there. No, that's that's working again. Okay, and I seem to notice. Okay, that's just telling me I need to turn this back on. Okay. I think we're good. Hopefully we didn't damage the cargo too much. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of trailer damage. I'm sure it's okay sure it's fine yeah this game's not boring <laughs> whatsoever it really keeps you on your toes all these simulator games it's like okay like it's it's a fun concept but whatever this one it's you never know what's going to happen at any minute something can go terribly wrong but it's very relaxing in the meantime so it's pretty great it's a really really good combo really good combo of relaxing and not at all relaxing <laughs> gonna take the freeway as close as we can get to that junction to Emerald Junction. And then and then we should be golden. Don't run into any rocks or nothing. Don't need any space trash breaking my truck again. Alright. Drop zone's right there. It's right there. And then we get our money and we can buy some stuff. Coming in just a little high. But it's okay. We're gonna just... There, hey, that works. <laughs> that works just fine. Okay, careless driving, damaged client property. 
Oh, gosh, I'd be a lot more successful if I wasn't always getting dinged for careless driving and damaging client property. But you know what? We do what we got to do, and what we got to do is just as good as we can. So how do I get... I need to go to Junk Fields and then Tank Town. Is there a job that can that I can take to Junk Fields so I can make a little more money? This game looks really cool. Like they, they did a really good job, like designing the space stations and the way space looks and the way your truck flies around with the little the little propulsion on it. Looks super cool. Y'all got a job board over here? Need I need myself a job board. There's one right there. Right there. You also don't realize how fast you're going um, because this space is so expansive. Uh, usually until it's too late. <laughs> and then you're like, oh shoot, I'm going way too fast. And then you almost run into space stations and stuff. Um, it makes it extra challenging, but really fun. It's a really good time all in all. Oh yeah, Purity, Alice Prime, Tank Down. Hey, that's perfect. Give me that one. I, I accept. Okay. Where do I pick that up at? Cargo, this is right there. Oh, hang on. Let me unhitch. Before I go trying to drag this space station off. Don't bump it. Don't bump it. <laughs> We've learned. We've learned you don't want to bump it. It makes your job real hard. Boy, that was kind of smooth, wasn't it? We did real good. Ooh, my core is about to die. I need more batteries. Gosh darn it. I think I'm out of all batteries. We're going to have to buy more. But first, we got to go to drop this off. <laughs> so we're going to junk fields and then tank town. All right, let's hit it. goodness whoa this place looks crazy holy smokes um my goodness what in the marvel universe is going on here okay um i'm gonna go over here i probably can't hit the body shop with the trailer on else i would we're just going to kind of try not to run into anything on our way down to the jump over here. Take it nice and easy. Just take it nice and easy. Boy, this looks so cool, though. It just looks so cool. I'm just going to snake my way through this little... little junk tunnel here <laughs> just gonna yep not nah, run into nothing can't afford it <laughs> just gonna yep yep first yep everything's good everything's fine okay uh -huh. for sure all right Whew. kind of proud of us for that one <laughs> like we did it real good This place is super cool. Oh, I love the colors. It's so pretty. Holy smokes. Just look at this. Oh my gracious. Okay, I need to pay attention. I don't want I don't want to run into nothing. Just one mile to the drop zone. We can do that without hitting anything, right? Hey LJ. Nope. Couldn't help but notice your shutters are bust. If you're between jobs and got the time, I could have a look at them if you want. That would be great. Sour candy. Sounds okay. great. Swing by my workshop. I'll 
me if I can't get them unjammed. Thank and you. If I do, well, it should open up a whole new world for you. And by a whole new world, I mean access to the solar provinces. Oh. Okay. Uh. Sure. <laughs> I'm just trying not to die at this point. Um. So. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you think is best, Sour Candy. We're gonna just kind of mosey on in here. Don't clip that space buoy. We're trying to we're trying not to get charged for damaging goods this time. This might be the one the one time <laughs> the one time we don't get charged for damaging goods. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Have we come to a complete stop? Late delivery? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean late delivery? What the doggone tardation do you mean late delivery? Okay, fine. We're ranked six though. I feel like that's pretty good. What can I uh, upgrade with my skills? What is this? Valuable loads? Uh, what about this one? Trailer permission. Clearance for jobs with multiple trailers. Okay. I feel like that's going to complicate my brain, but we might want it. If we go for valuable loads, that works our way towards this EVA training, which increases our spacewalk efficiency even more. So that might also be really good. Oh, they have them. They have them categorized. Everything over here is fast and risky. Everything over here is safe and sound. At the moment, we've only been doing stuff that's fast and risky. So maybe we work our way over um, to this side a bit. Kind of ride that line between fast and risky and safe and sound. <laughs> that's that's where I live, in between fast and risky and safe and sound. So we're in the middle. Okay, we can now do heavy loads, valuable loads, which is probably going to end horribly for me, but we're going to do it anyway. All right, Sour Candy, where are you at? You over here? Let me go, let me go see Sour Candy. See what the heck she's talking about. She's got a workshop, so hopefully that means she can fix our truck. Cause it's a little, it's a little borked. What's that? What's that eyeball? What's that eyeball mean? Salvage beacon? What's this? Is there space loot? <laughs> can we get space loot? Is that a thing? What's going on here? What do I do with this? <gasps> can I run out here and grab this stuff? Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Wait just wait just a minute. Wait just a doggone minute. Let me get my let me get my spacesuit. I wanna see if I can grab this stuff. That's gonna be awesome. We're getting space loot. What we got here? What is this stuff? Can I have this? Data? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that does for us. Oh, I got it. I'm gonna put it in here. Can I drop it in here? Do I gotta... Okay, got that. Going back out. What's that? A crate of beer! Oh, that's tempting. That's real tempting. What is this? Wine? Oh my gosh. Y'all. Y'all, I don't think we can pass this up. Where's that beer? Give me that. <laughs> Give me this crate of beer. I'm taking this. <laughs> this is mine. I earned this. <laughs> Y'all can't tell me. Oh, cab temperature. The temperature in your cab is reaching an uninhabitable level. Make sure the climate control system is online and that your dashboard settings are appropriate for the current sector. Uh, okay. Can I drink a beer to cool off? <laughs> Will that cool me down? It is negative 289 Fahrenheit out there. <laughs> and uh, in here, it's getting real real cold so we're gonna crank this up but it doesn't seem to be helping how do we counteract this climate regulator is at fault oh no oh golly hang on hang on a minute climate regulator where is that where's the climate regulator i need one of these give me this this one's broken shoot uh do i have a good one in here oh i don't oh they're all broken they're all broken. They're all broken. <laughs> we have a problem. We got a big problem. 
I need, I need, I need, you think one of these is out there? Do you think that's possible? What if I put a dead one in there? Will that make it at least a little bit better? It's not maybe as dead as that one. What are the odds one of these is out there? What are the odds of that? It's still, it's still borked. Um, okay. I'm going to go see if we're super lucky and we've got one of those fuses up there <laughs> in that junk pile. Let's see. Maybe we should have gone for this box instead of the beer. But if we if we survive this, we're gonna need that beer to celebrate. So it'll all, it'll all work out. You just wait. You just wait and see. It's all gonna work out. Oh, there's nothing in it. Gosh, dang it. This is bad. This is real bad. What else is out here? There's gotta there's gotta be a fuse out here. There's gotta be. Is there? A propane tank. Some wine. We may as well grab the wine while we're out here. And then I gotta figure out if maybe there's a system that I don't need as much that I can pull one of those from. And stuff in there in the meantime. Where the heck am I? What, what have I done? Where's, where's my truck? <laughs> Gracious. I keep getting turned around, keep getting caught up on stuff. Okay, I've got wine. Um, what can I pull one of those from? Oh, the suit one, the suit one. Yeah, return the suit, open this. Pull that out of there. Oh no. Oh no. I forgot. I forgot the process. I forgot. I forgot the process. Put that in there. Jump down here. Jump down here. Turn the, turn the thing. Turn the thing. Turn the thing. Turn the thing. <laughs> now. Oh, golly. Boy, howdy. It's rough out here. Prolonged exposure to freezing temperatures almost resulted in your death. They took all of my money. They took they took all of my money. Every bit of it. They took every bit of my money. I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy about that at all. I'm not I'm not too thrilled about that. Can I have some beer to make myself feel better? Can I have this? Can I, can I have that? Oh, golly. All right. Well, not doing super great. Where did they drop me off at? Where did, can I, can I sell this stuff? Oh, I can. Okay, we're selling, we're selling our contraband. And then, uh, what is this thing? What does this do? I don't know what that does. We're going to sell that too. Because let me tell you, we need money. <laughs> We need money in the worst way. What else can I sell? Can I sell all this random stuff? I don't know what it does for me, so I'm gonna sell it. Along with my energy drinks. I still don't know why I have those. I'm gonna sell all my dead batteries because I still haven't figured out what to do about them. And all these. I'm gonna sell all this crap. Okay, I'm gonna buy an air filter and Three of those. Oh, I need a battery too, though. Gosh darn it. Can I? Yeah, we're going to do two of those. An air filter and a battery. Okay. We're making it. Not very well, but we're making it. That was a very costly, costly mistake. With the whole situation that we had. You can't just pull fuses and things can't can't do it it's not advisable you just can't it's very bad if you don't turn off the breaker before you go pulling fuses sour candy please tell me you got good news for me where did they leave me at where am i i'm back at atlas prime i'm back at atlas prime all that work to get to takedown and they took me back to atlas prime 
Well, they did save my life, so I suppose it's okay. Is my truck still borked? Yeah, my truck's still borked. <laughs> we better we better service this thing if we can afford it. I don't know how much it costs. It was under warranty before. It's not anymore. It's rough out here. Repair. <laughs> I can't afford it. You find yourself in the red. There's no need to panic thanks to an emergency credit line limit of $5,000. However, if you exceed this buffer, the bank will issue a deadline for repayment and purchases will be restricted to essential items. Failing to clear your debt in the allotted time will result in the bank declaring you bankrupt and your truck being marked for repossession. So be careful. Oh my gracious. It is so rough out here. We're $2,500 in debt. Oh my gosh. This isn't how I wanted my trucking career to go. Automated banking alert. Yeah. Your account is currently utilizing an agreed credit limit free of charge. Yeah. Please take a moment to review your finances and ensure you stay within the approved limit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, sometimes things happen. And sometimes we almost die and then we got to pay the bills for being brought back to life and our truck being uh not fixed because they didn't fix my truck why what did cost so much why did it cost so much <laughs> why did that cost so much for them to bring me back they didn't even fix my truck anyway it's fine we'll be fine we're doing great we're gonna make this we're gonna make this happen we're gonna come over here to the old Harmony link. We're gonna pick up a job, take it to Tank Town, and get back in the positive. Everything's gonna be good. You just wait and see. Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna do so good. Nice and easy. We don't need to break nothing because we can't afford to. We don't have breaking stuff kind of money. We need to go. Hold on. I always get confused about what's where and where I need to be in order to get there and all that we're trying to get to tank town again so we can go through purity emerald junction junk fields and then tank town okay so we can take a job that takes us to purity emerald junction or junk fields purity emerald junction or junk fields okay this one goes to purity and then we can pick something up in purity and continue on Let's do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Why? Why has this occurred? What has happened? Please tell me another fuse didn't go out. It did. Why? Why did the fuse go out? I can't afford for this to keep happening. I can't afford for fuses to be going out all the time. You think I've just got fuse money? <laughs> I have got money to spend on fuses and such. I don't. I don't have that kind of money. Why did what? Oh yeah, I gotta turn it back on. Okay, hang on. Let me not hit the wrong one. Okay, back in business. We don't have any more spare fuses. I don't think, because I think I only bought one. Or did I buy two? Did I buy two? Do I have an extra one? Nope. <laughs> sure don't. Sure don't. By golly. Okay. You see all these batteries that are about to die? <laughs> That's a problem as well. So let's go. Hit up the terminal down here. See if we can buy a couple of batteries. Pick up our cargo. Let's see if we can make some more money. I am of course taking the dumbest way there because I don't know how to change my ways. <laughs> and start taking the smart routes that make it so we don't run into stuff. I just, I see a waypoint and I head for the waypoint. It's just, I really don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why am I like this? What have I done to myself? Why? We're gonna bring this thing to a stop. We got a hole breach, which I'm gonna have to pay for because my hole is probably all broken now. Oh my gosh. It's just a little one. It's just a little breach. Nothing too serious. I'm sure we can take care of that. Real, real easy. Okay. 
Everything's fine. Everything's just fine. Take me back home. I'll put that back. Okay. We're good. Everything's good. I'm gonna stop by the store here. See how many batteries we can buy without going past $5,000 in debt. And then, uh, yeah. Hope that gets us to where we need to go. Y'all got two batteries for me. All right. I will take both of those. I don't have anything I can... Well, I'll still eat this broken fuse. I should probably buy a couple fuses, too. Uh, and yeah, that's all I can afford, so... Thanks for that. Appreciate you. Let's see if I can replace a couple of batteries here. I'm gonna replace one of these. Keep this one on standby in case we need it for emergencies. Don't know why I have these workwear cartons. So we're gonna free that crate up for stuff we actually need it for. I'm gonna keep my crates just kind of on the floor there because when you need them in an emergency, it's really hard to get to them when they're when they're in the when they're in the uh, the shelf there. What's going on here? That power cell is dead. <laughs> okay. All right, that one's not super crucial, so we're gonna put the almost dead battery in that one. That's what we're gonna do. So this one's still got 11 juice left on it. <laughs> so we're gonna put this one in here. We have this perfectly good battery ready to go wherever I end up needing it the most. Which I'm going to say is probably my gravity one. Because we don't want that one to go out in the middle of everything. <laughs> So let me just go ahead and replace that now. Okay. All right. We are in as good a shape as we can be. We're going to pick up our cargo and head on our way. And hope everything goes super great and super smooth. Because we can't afford for it not to. Hey, hey, don't you, don't you, don't you dare. What are y'all doing? What is this? Good gracious. Really gotta watch for cross traffic around here. it up nice and easy nice and easy okay we got it now let's take the proper the proper pathway to get up to that purity terminal up there Oh yeah, everything's going nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Everything's good. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we want to be over here. And we'll just make a nice and easy right turn in that direction. And we're going to avoid all the space crap. <laughs> Which I can't afford to run into nothing. Drop zones right there. Easy money. 
We'll see what we can pick up here. Hopefully we can make a little more cash on the way to take down and then pay off some of our debt. We're gonna have to make a left turn exit to get to our drop zone. So let me wait for these semi trucks to pass by. We don't need any collisions. I suppose I can just dip down below. Not have to worry about them. Let's try that. Let's try that out. Is that an officer? Is that a, is that a police? <laughs> is that a space police? Here we go. We're just gonna snake our way over here. Even it up. But it's perfect. <laughs> careless driving? What do you mean? What careless driving? There was no careless driving? How? What do you guys want from me? I'm very confused. All right, you're fine. Thanks for my money. And nobody's ever happy. Nobody's ever happy. No matter what you do, that was the most pristine delivery they've ever had. And they got me for careless driving. Oh, it's real cold in here. Wait. Hold on. Uh. Let's crank that up. It's still dropping. Why is it still dropping? We got. Do we have broken systems again? Hang on a minute. <laughs> is this. Is it, did this one go out again? Gosh darn it. Okay. Hang on a minute. I gotta turn that off. What is that called? That's the uh, climate regulator? I think so. And then I'm going to get one of my new doohickeys here. I'm going to gently put that on the floor. And, okay. Pull this out. Whole system didn't go down, so that's a plus. Put that back in there. We're going to take our broken doohickey. Put it down here. And then turn our climate control back on. And then hopefully everything's back in business. Oh, yeah. Okay. Medium blower. And we're good. Holy smokes. Good gracious. Hey, that's my horn. Oh, yeah. Okay, we found the horn. Emerald Junction Onyx. I don't know where that is. Purity. None of these are where I need to go, I don't think. Oh, Emerald Junction. Yeah, we can go to Emerald Junction. That works, actually. Hang on. Let me... Let me take that one. Let me take the one at Emerald Junction. That's easy money. Perfect. Make a quick thousand dollars? Absolutely. Get hooked up to this thing. We're carrying synthetic leather. So that's pretty cool. Just look at our truck. That just looks so cool out here in space. 
No, I got it. Can't wait till I actually have money and I can afford to get like a cool paint job or something. <laughs> Look at that, our drop zone is right there too. Good gracious. I probably should have backed it up in here. <laughs> um, But you know, we're just gonna make do with what we got here. We have come to a complete stop. The trailer is 100%. The synthetic leather is 100%. We did it. It's the perfect delivery. We got careful driving. We got early delivery. We made an extra 500 something bucks on top of everything. Oh my goodness. Holy gracious. Pretty proud of that one. Pretty, pretty proud of that one. Doing so good. Okay. All right. Holy smokes. Now let's see if we can get out of here without breaking anything. Just Good thing about space trucks is you can turn on a dime. As long as you're not... As long as you don't have the thrusters going, you can turn on a dime. Let's go down to Goodman Tower. Maybe I can pick up something for... Oh, there's a job board right here. Okay. Let me see what we got. Either the junk fields or tank town. <laughs> so we're still trying to make our way over there. Purity. Junk fields. Tank town. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, let's do that one. Let's just go do the whole nine yards. <laughs> let's just full send it. Make it over to our cargo without running into anything. <laughs> and then maybe make it all the way to Tank Town without running into anything. Make some money. Maybe get close to getting out of debt. Hey, LJ. A lot of shops are someone like you in the mineral colonies. Hi. You'll need clearance, though, so maybe head back once GB sorts you out. Okay. Sounds good, buddy. I'm just trying to pick up some cargo over here. Y'all always think I'm trying to make it through that gate, but I'm not. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. All right, we got our fiberglass weave, and we're going to head on down to the junk fields. Hi. I don't think that gate will work for you just yet. I know. Okay. Try again after GB grants you clearance to the mineral colonies. I know. I understand. I don't want the gate. I just want my fiberglass weave. That's all I want. Gosh, there's so much, so much space junk. <laughs> so much space junk out here. I'm gonna take it nice and slow. We're just gonna slowly cruise through here. No need to go 165 miles an hour through the junk fields. We're not in the actual junk fields yet, but it, it feels like it out here on the outskirts here. No, don't eat that, don't eat that. <laughs> Gracious. Okay. <laughs> We're good. How are we doing on fuel? Oh, not too good. Is there fuel in the junk fields? Do you think? There's not. Hmm. We should probably swing by and fuel up. Since we're here. <laughs> Spend even more money. Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah. Begin fueling. Just another grand, just another thousand plus dollars. That's fine. Thanks. Appreciate you. I'll be on my way. All right, on our way to the junk fields. We're gonna make money. Good gracious, I forgot how crazy this place looked. <laughs> My goodness. Let's just take it nice and slow. <laughs> take it nice and easy. Don't do nothing crazy. Avoid all the floating garbage. Nice and easy. Oh, it's a little, a little toasty in here. Let's, let's, let's put that down to like moderate. <laughs> we don't need it to be 86 degrees in here. Being that it's 159 degrees outside. 
Don't hit that. Don't hit that. We hit that. We definitely hit that. It was just a little thing, though. That probably did. You did. <laughs> Gosh dang it. We were doing so good. How's the cargo? Is the cargo okay? Cargo's fine. Let's see if we can fix the hole. Boy, gosh darn it. Dag damn it. Just one little hole breach. <laughs> Nothing too bad. Nothing we can't handle. It's fine. Voidwalker, spend 12 minutes, 9 seconds performing extracurricular activities. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. What is this? Is this battery about dead? Well, that is what it is. I don't think we have an extra one to put down there. Or do I? Nope. Sure don't. <laughs> sure don't. But after we deliver this uh, material, we should have enough money to, to buy one without going above our debt limit. <laughs> We're just gonna... Just easy. Nice and easy. So nice and easy. Just nice and slow. Just snake our way through all this space junk. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now we're talking. We made it through mostly unscathed. Only had a minor incident. Which we have quickly recovered from. So I think we're going to be fine. Gracious. All right, let's see if we can deliver this and then go see sour candy without anything going terribly wrong <laughs> I think that would be great. Oh, there's another salvage beacon up there. We'll have to go get that once we drop this off because <laughs> I like loot Full stop <laughs> Unhitch careless driving and damaged client prop well, <laughs> okay, there was a little bit of that but that's not too bad. We still made $2,263, so I feel pretty good about that. And we're rank seven! Holy smokes! What skills can I unlock? Ooh, even more efficient spacewalking. That might be good. <laughs> that might be kind of good. Or I can get cleared for multiple trailers. Hmm. Plus 10% cash for delivering trailer permission. Plus 20% XP for trailer permission. Oh, I haven't been reading the little the little extras down there. And then we can get hazardous loads. Boy, that's probably going to be terrible. All right, let's go with the trailer permission. Um, as long as I don't confuse myself too much, <laughs> that might be kind of nice. Now it's time to go see Sour Candy. Maybe she's got some goodies for us that'll help us uh, stay alive. <laughs> Because that would be good. She's got a big old pink workshop out here. That's fantastic. All right. That should have fixed things. What did it? Go. Give what a go. What's happening? Shutters. Use the shutter lever above your head to close the cab's window shutters. Why would I want to do that? Shutters provide extra insulation and are essential pre for preventing extreme and rapid temperature changes within your cab. Once the shutters are closed, use the monitors to navigate and stay on track for a timely delivery. Are you telling me there's places I'm going to have to go through where I got to shut my windshield? <laughs> that sounds terrible. 